I'm riding from Edgewater to Dust Plains right now on the New Mountain Sea. And so far it feels good, but I just left. <laughs> so I'll keep you posted on the, the comfort of this, of this new seat. It is hot. So hot. Ooh. 86 hours. Not ideal to have a face helmet on. Gotta be safe. over to my friend Benny's house. He is going to help me fix the speedometer so that it uh, faces towards me a little bit more and we get rid of that glare. So I'm excited about that. but I don't want to have the glove tan line on my wrist. So instead I just wipe my hands off <laughs> on my pants. <laughs> thing about this bike I love it but you know sometimes it's a little hard to squeeze through which isn't always bad some cars don't really like that when you do that this thing rerouted me three minutes faster we'll see <laughs> hopefully I think I have it avoiding highways so
somebody said I should uh, talk in these videos, so that's what I'm doing. Let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. And my hands are sweaty. Somebody else had this problem. And I've got share in my ear. Maybe I should do a little. No, that's not gonna work. Wow, this is a very long uh, red light here. Literally sweat dripping down my nose. Yeah, most of you e-bike people are probably like, why don't you just go? Because I don't want to get pulled over because I look like I'm on, I mean, practically on a moped, so I should, for the most part, obey the traffic laws. I try to anyway. You know, I roll through stops if there's no one there, but Stoplights? Mm, I don't know. They're a little trickier. How do you guys feel about that? Do you guys just roll through stoplights? I feel really bad doing that on this thing, so I just tend to not do that. It's also probably safer. <laughs> limit on this road. I love it. It's so nice to go that fast. I've seen some people change out the pedals for like stationary pegs. I see the huge benefit in that. I tend to ride and push down really hard on those to keep them steady. You have more bike control that way. But if I did that, I couldn't legally like ride in the bike lane, right? So I think I'm going to leave my pedals alone. Definitely made a few modifications to this bike as I think some of you have seen. I've added the mirrors, that was my first mod. I have like the front handlebar bag down there. I uh, have a GPS tracker on my bike. I just installed the new seat as you saw yesterday. I'm about to tilt this thing up today. Um, I have a front uh, grill light coming on Tuesday, so that'll be nice and excited about that. And I think maybe we're done modifying for a little bit. <laughs> I say that, but I'll probably think of something else. <laughs> oh, it's so nice, that breeze, oh my gosh. What a really nice street to be riding on, nice and smooth, long stretches. Love it. Better than like stopping and going every two feet in the city. Ooh. 
take so much longer and it's just like it's such a pain to look for somewhere to pull over and park like taking this bike is so much faster it's just so much more convenient and obviously more fun seriously so jealous of everybody who lives in the burbs that has these i mean i guess i could ride out here that's what i'm doing now but man it's so nice to just consistently ride at like 35 <laughs> for a long stretch oh it's so nice that breeze and the drivers out here seem to not be as crazy as in the city probably because they have more space i'm sure i mean i'm one of them i'm a crazy driver so I can talk about that about them. I am definitely one of them. Pretty nice but I do drive them crazy. I'm the first one to lay on a horn if you like doing your stuff you're not supposed to. I'm not shy. I will look at you. You do a lot of honking on this bike too actually. Definitely not shy to use the horn on anybody. can uh, record some 360 footage because I'm currently filming on a GoPro Max so um, it can do 360 video but I don't have a mount like it's mounted to my chest right now so obviously can't record 360 with it mounted that way so I thought that'd just be something fun to have to record for like group rides and stuff excited to try that out tomorrow to Des Plaines. So we're like, uh, what, three minutes from Benny's house. That's exciting. Making it that far. The ride back is probably gonna be a little bit slower, I'm sure, because um, Benny's got a super three, so. I think that we're probably not gonna take the same roads that I took to get here because the speed limits on those are pretty quick and uh, there was 
there's no bike lanes or anything, so I think that we'll probably take a different way back, which is totally cool. It's fun to go different ways and check the city out. Also, Benny's a good dude to ride with. I love riding with Benny. He's awesome. He's like, he's like a, the Chicago, you know, uh, electric bike mechanic. <laughs> If you need anything done to your bike, the Chicago e-bike community contacts Benny. He's a good dude. He's actually riding back to me, with me to my house in Edgewater to uh, mount some fans, so he does that too. <laughs> oh, got my signal on. That's not good. Man, these red lights are really long out here, huh? Any day now. It's like, so, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, I am sweating bullets. Oh my gosh. I love my bike and I love riding, but oh man, do I need to get off of this thing and take my helmet off for a moment. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I go to the train station, I'm standing there, like looking down the track. I don't see no fucking lights. Like, god damn, I always keep forgetting. Because now that they're in this COVID thing, they're running on just a Sunday schedule. So, oh. if you look at the Saturday schedule, the one I pulled up, that's for 1244. And I'm like, fuck. And then I go there, it's 144. And then this oh. other guy comes, I'm like, no, man. But he's like, no, on the inside, I'm like, no. It's. Oh know. my God. I showed him on the phone, and he's like, no. So yeah. Everybody got jacked on that one. Let's see if that's the same. 